Now it's time for our tech tip presented by SBT, the world's largest remanufacturer of personal watercraft engines. This week's SBT tech tip is going to be about carburetors. First of all, there are two types of carburetors, Makuni and Kian. Makunis are used mainly on Yamahas and Sidus. Kians are used mainly on Kawasaki's and Polaris. Before we get into the carburetor, the emphasis here is on clean. You must make sure that the carburetor body is clean, your work area is clean, your hands are clean, and don't do this outside where dirt and dust can blow in. Let's take a look at the insides of the carburetor. First, we remove this pump cover plate, which has your pulse fitting on it. Here's our pulse line and our pulse chamber. Here's our pump diaphragm. Here we have our pump chamber with our inlet and outlet check valves. Don't forget to remove your fuel filter. Then we can turn the carburetor over and go to the regulator chamber. Remove these four screws from our regulator cover. In our regulator chamber, we have our control arm and needle and seat, so we need to remove that. Pull that screw out. Here's the control arm. Control arm has a small pin on it. Here's your inlet needle. And underneath your control arm is your control arm spring. We remove these two screws. Pull off the cap. It's a good idea when you're disassembling your carburetor to look for any debris, uh, sand, salt, silt. If you find any, then you know you're on to something. The next thing we have to remove is our inlet seat. We do that by removing this small screw here and then taking the screw and the bracket and letting it fall into your hand. Remove the seat itself with a pair of pliers. Next thing to remove is your high and low speed jets. Here's your high speed jet here. We'll just unscrew that. Then we unscrew our low speed jet. The next thing we have to remove is our low and high speed screws. Now you have to think about cleaning it. There's a couple ways we can clean this. We could dip this in an acid bath, but that would ruin the paint and maybe some plastic bushings that are on the throttle shaft and such. Or we could use an aerosol carburetor cleaner where you can spray through the jets and all your passageways and clear off any debris. You want to make sure that you wear safety glasses when performing this procedure. Next thing we need to do is inspect some of the critical parts in our carburetor. Here is our inlet needle. It's very important that our inlet needle is a nice clean taper with no ring around it. Here is our inlet seat. These inlet seats hardly ever go bad, but they do have to be clean. Here is our low and high speed screws. The important thing about the low and high speed screw is again a nice even taper with no ring and no bent tip. From this point, all you have to do is put the carburetor back together the way you took it apart. When you are rebuilding your carburetor, I recommend that you replace your O-rings and your diaphragms with O-rings and diaphragms from a rebuilt kit, like this one we offer from SBT. If you do that, and you don't pinch any O-rings and don't roll any of your gaskets, you'll have a carburetor that will last you for years. <laughs>